hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you're watching me for the first time my name is Lizzie. you're welcome thank you to returning subscribers i love you guys so much today i'm going to show you all how i achieved this nude soft and clean makeup on my birthday client so these are the products that i'll be using for skin prep the first one was a micellar water and a face wipe to wipe off the dirt from her face although i did that off camera but that should be your first step next was me using a hydrating serum from zarum cosmetics all over her face this is just going to give the face a glowy effect and it's going to make the skin soft thereafter i went in with moisturizer from miss cosmetics um and i just apply that all over her face now if you actually want your makeup to last long do not miss the moisturizing step do not miss it make sure that you moisturize properly and i'm using my fingers to get that into her skin just so that everything sits properly on her skin next off i went in with a face primer from flawless ivy cosmetics and i love this particular um face primer a lot it just does the work this actually works for all types of skin so i'm just going to apply this on her t-zone area like this using my brush and once that is done i'm going to go in with a beauty sponge to make sure that that sits like that sets into her skin properly just to get that into her skin properly right now i'm going to go in with foundation and this is from v beauty cosmetics and i'll be dropping the shades in the description box below this is actually her perfect shade There was no need for me to mix any other foundation this was just a perfect shade and i loved it a lot you can see how easily i'm able to apply this foundation on her skin because of the skin prep process that we had already done and trust me guys this is not even all the products that you're supposed to use for skin prep but for this tutorial i had to just go in with those three there are other kinds of products that you can use for skin prep. There are some products that you use that would enable your makeup to last for the whole day. So this is just one quarter. That's if it's even up to that quarter of the products that you have to use for skin prep. So I had to go in with a darker shade of foundation from Zika Cosmetic in the shade 025 just to contour her cheekbone, the forehead and the nose a little bit. I just had to chisel that area. Right now I am going to go in with Adventure Cosmetics Concealer and I'm going to go in with a shade that is about three tones lighter than that of her skin tone because I want to highlight these areas. Now I'm going to apply that underneath her eyes, her jaw, her forehead and the tip of her nose right there. And then I'm going to make sure that my beauty blender is wet although not too wet but just make it wet and I'm going to tap that on her skin make sure that you're not dragging just tap it on the skin and do not allow your concealer to stay on the face for too long If the concealer dries up on your face it will be so difficult for you to get that off and for you to blend 
to make sure that it's not too wet and too dry either you can see how glowy the skin looks like it's just so nice i actually enjoyed every bit of this particular tutorial and my client was compliant so it was super easy for me Next off, I'm going to pick up my powder palette from V Beauty Cosmetics and I'm just going to apply the right shades of powder on her face. In the areas where you need to contour, go in with the shade of powder that is about two tones darker than that of her skin tone. You don't want it too dark and too light either. So in the areas you need to highlight, go in with a shade of powder that is about two to three tones lighter than that of her skin tone. And in the areas where you need to just make sure that everything sits properly on the face, in the areas where you need to apply her normal, her natural shades, just go in with that. As simple as that. And then have it at the back of your mind that the face should look like the neck. It shouldn't be different at all everything is just there should be a balance that's what you're trying to achieve especially as a beginner sometimes when you're applying makeup you try so hard you don't check your process you don't check your work and at the end of the day you discover that the face looks really really lighter than her neck which is not supposed to be as a beginner what you should do is less is more have it at the back of your mind that less is more as you apply if there is need for you to apply more you go in with more but don't go and apply so much product on the face and at the end of the day you have to start removing removing and placing you know what i'm saying it makes your work really really dirty and as a beginner as well um sometimes it's very difficult for you to blend but trust me guys it's so easy to blend very very easy and what you want to do is to make sure that you're tapping on the face and not dragging most of the time when i apply makeup i prefer to use um, a beauty blender when it comes to foundation routine concealer routine I prefer to use a beauty blender and not a brush because I feel like brush would always leave these lines on your face but beauty blender just softens everything just makes everything clean and smooth so try to use the right um, tools as well when you are applying your makeup So I went ahead to apply blush from CPD blush palette and then I went in with a setting powder from Adventure Cosmetics. I just applied that on her T-zone area. Right now I'm going to go ahead to draw her brows and I'm using a Davis brow pencil for this particular process today. So I'm going to draw a thin line underneath her brow like this. Just try as much as possible to make sure that your pencil is pointed let it not be blunt but pointed and then i'm going to draw another thin line above the brow to connect with the lower brow next off i'm just going to fill up the area where she does not really have enough hairs and then i'll be repeating the same process on the other brow as well and once I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead to conceal. Make sure that you are shading the inner corner of the brows properly so that everything comes out good, natural, and nice. Okay, since she's light-skinned, I actually went in with the shade 
0.03 but if you were to be a very very dark person i would have gone in with let's say black pencil but that is not necessary in this video so try as much as possible to always check the shade of your client before you use any product right now i am just concealing and i'm using my foundation to conceal for the lower part of her brow I went in with Chic Cosmetics foundation and then for the upper part of her brow, I went in with her shade of foundation, the one we initially used when we started. Next up, I'm going to apply the foundation on her crease area like this, what I'm doing right now. This is the crease area and then towards the transition area as well. Make sure that it's properly blended. Like I so much, so much love this makeup because everything just balances like just looks so much like her neck and it's just her perfect skin tone so after that I'm going to go in with powder she actually asked for a very subtle nude makeup she didn't want it to be shouty just calm and nude and that's what I'm doing today I went in with powder on the crease area and a little bit above the crease area which is a transition area Next up, I went in with a darker shade of powder at the outer corner of the crease area just so that that part will be a little bit pigmented and more defined than what it looks like. And that is it guys, I just applied that at the outer corner of the crease area like this. And once I was done, I went in to also drag that towards the nose just to contour the nose more than what it looks like. And then right now, I am going to apply more powder on the crease area. I want it to be a little bit lighter than what it looks like, but then still maintain the nude shade to more powder, guys. So at this point, I'm going to go in with eyeliner. And this eyeliner that I'm using today is from Chic Cosmetics um, eyeliner and I'm just going to apply that on her waterline area like this make sure that you are using a very flat brush to achieve this so on the waterline area which is the tear duct area I'm just going to drag the skin down with another brush and then apply the eyeliner the way you can see me do so once that is done, I am going to go in with mascara and this mascara that I am using is from Classic Cosmetics and I am just going to tap on her natural lashes a little bit just to make sure that it pops more than what it looks like. I don't know if you got that image but once I was done with the first one, it actually looked better than the second eye. So that is it guys and I'm also going to work on her lower lashes to make sure that those lashes pop yep that is what I'm trying to do so make sure that you work on the lashes to enable it pop and as you're doing that be as careful as possible so that you don't touch her skin you can see what that looks like right now so we are going to move over to the lips. I'm going to pick up my Davis brow pencil again and then just shade the upper lip and also the lower lip. So I'm going to shade it properly so that it looks good. So like I said before, she actually requested for a nude makeup. This is actually a returning client. I've worked with her before so I had an idea of what she wanted. Right now, I'm going to go in with a pink shade of lippy at the inner corner of her lip, which is the lower lip. I'm going to go in with a pink shade of lippy and then just blend, blend, blend. Blend to make sure that everything looks good. And once that is done, I'm going to go in with a lighter shade of lippy.
I'm going to go in with white and then ask her to smudge the lips and I'll just blend 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 to make sure that everything comes out really nice and to make sure that it looks good so make sure that you're using the right brushes it matters a lot so this is my lip brush for today sometimes I use it for the eyes but today I decided to use it for the lips so it's actually really really cool and really nice i really can't remember where i I've, okay this brush was gifted to me by a friend it was given to me by a friend and the brand name of the brush was not written on it so i really can't tell but this brush works magic yep so i'm just going to line the lips properly so that it looks good and so that it comes out really really nice So once you're done with that, go ahead to dust off the excess setting powder from your face. Now as a beginner, you want to make sure that you leave the setting powder on your face for about 10 minutes. 10 minutes. And also as a beginner, make sure that whenever you are applying makeup, hmm, that it's in an airy environment like the place is not hot make sure that it's in an airy environment most of the times when I'm working on my clients I prefer um, an environment where the where there is light maybe let's say AC fan or there is no fan if I have to walk inside the house if I get there what I do is I tell them that we should work with an alternative which is staying outside the house because most times when you are applying makeup before you know your clients will start sweating and breaking it can be really discouraging so make sure that the place is not hot and make sure that you are close to the window or that there is light if you don't have your LED lights with you make sure that you stay as close to the window as possible make sure that it's like the place has natural lightning and that you can see the work you're doing on your client. Remember when I began my makeup journey, I was making that mistake and hmm, I saw hell. So that, that's it guys. Make sure that you are in a place where there is light. So right now I'm just contouring the nose to make it pop more. I love this look. Like looks so good and it's super super easy doesn't take too much time i was actually recording that was why it took this much time but if i were working without the whole paparazzi camera and all I wouldn't have spent this long on this makeup so that is it guys make sure that everything looks clean and good so for setting spray I'm using kiss beauty setting spray that is it that's the setting spray thank you guys so much for watching this video I do hope that it was helpful if it was please don't forget to hit the subscribe button like and share so for my client today she specifically told me that she didn't need lashes yep she didn't need lashes she really doesn't like lashes i don't know why <laughs> i don't know why even the last time she came it was the same thing but i still love the look it actually came out really cool and nice so thank you all for watching i hope to see you guys in my next video if you've not turned on the notification button please do that so that each time i post you get the 
notification and you'll be the first to know and i'm going to link some of my previous videos here so that you guys can watch it i have lots of amazing stuff for you all please subscribe to my channel like and share this video i'll see you guys in my next video bye